Hey, what's going on, Doc and Fam? Welcome back to the channel. If you've been enjoying the content, be sure to smash that like and subscribe button. And if you want to make sure that you never miss a new video upload, make sure you click that notification bell. So as you guys can see in today's video, we're going to be hitting Boss Rush 6 with a full Rainbow Pator team. Now guys, I've already cleared this event and I have to tell you, with a full Rainbow Pator team, you don't even have to pay attention. You can literally be watching TV and just pushing on random orbs and you'll clear the event. I didn't use one item when I did this event on my own and my, my teammate wasn't even a full Rainbow. Right now, I actually have uh, my buddy Joe over from Deprof Gaming. What's up, Joe? Thank you for allowing me to use your full rainbow into Vegito LR. And Joe and I usually do our cards exactly the same, so his LR Vegito is going to hit the same exact way that mine is because the hidden potential systems are identical. So let's jump right into this. But before we do, if you're miring my King Vegeta tank top, why don't you head over to JustSaying.co, I'll post a link down in the info section, and I have a code MS10 for 10% off the entire store. Check it out. Alright, let's jump right into this, see how fast we can clear it. Oh baby. You know, the hardest part of this, and we're going to get that in stage 2, is Harutagon. I swear it took me five minutes to beat the Harutagon because he dodged every single attack I threw at him for like six turns straight. I was getting really frustrated. <laughs> and for those of you who watched my most recent summon video, you saw that it, it was just recently that I rainbowed um, my LR Black right here. I was so pumped about that. I'm just going to get rid of these blues. And then I want to get these greens. But yeah, I finally rainbowed my LR Black. I went from never pulling him. And for those of you guys who um, who checked me out in my live streams, we pulled three LR Blacks in one live stream. It was friggin' ridiculous in like 300 stones. Um, and then I just recently pulled my final LR Black on the LR Goku and Frieza banner, which I wish I would have pulled LR Goku and Frieza. I mean, it's nice to have Black rainbowed, but I really wish I pulled... LR Goku and Frieza, or at least a Beerus, because I still don't even have Beerus yet, guys. I know. It's pretty pathetic. Like, I'm sitting here as a dock and whale with all kinds of stones, all kinds of summoning, and I don't even have LR Beerus or LR Goku and Frieza. But that's all about the change. Real soon. Don't you worry about that. I don't even think we've had to go to our second unit. <laughs> I think we're just KOing with the first unit in rotation. I don't even think we're going to get a, a Vegito transformation out of this LR Vegito. I mean, it would be nice if we did. Um, but I don't think we're going to... Like, I told you guys, it's so easy with the Pator team. Like, even my buddy Eric, he doesn't he doesn't even have LR Vegito into Vegito. He obviously has, he has LR STR Vegito because he's a free-to-play unit. But he doesn't even have... He, he used um, Kefla as his team leader for the Pator team. And he was able to wipe wipe his friggin' butt with this event. So, just goes to show you that the Pator team... <laughs> so, I don't know if you guys know this, but my, my friend Joe, who I'm using his Vegito right now, uh, he ended up losing his account, right? And then he lost his account, which he was really upset about because he had a lot of really great units on there. So, he had to start a new account from scratch. And for whatever reason on this account, his luck has been like absolutely freaking ridiculous to the point to where he has already pretty much gotten every LR back. As you saw, I'm using his rainbow LR Vegito. He, he pulled all five of those. I'm pretty sure he rainbowed Gogeta when, those, when that banner was around as well. Um, <laughs> but because he had Vegito and he pulled a lot of Pator units, like, when you first start playing this game, it's very difficult to be able to beat all the events because you have to build different teams. But for Joe, he has a, had a brand new account, and because he pulled LR Vegito and then a bunch of other Pator units, he's just been dominating the entire game. So if you recently started and you got yourself a Pator team, you can pretty much clear any event. Like, it's, it's just crazy. Oh yeah, Badok. Let's see that AGL formation, bro. 
And guys, if you don't know, this is a this is a unit that you can actually get if you don't know that already. Um, there's an SR Bidoc that's pretty easy to get. He'll pop up a lot. He TURs into this Bidoc right here. All right, so we're just gonna do this. So you can actually get rainbow orbs and boost the super attack just as good. See, I got it pretty much full right there. So when you use um, Vegito, I'm gonna stop saying LR Vegito because he's he's right there. When you use Vegito, yeah, you want to get purple orbs, but if you notice a path that has rainbow orbs that might be a little bit better, go for that one. Ooh, I dodged. Nice. That was pretty awesome. You know, I don't put any additional dodge into any of my units, really. And I gotta say, Vegito actually does dodge quite a bit. I've noticed that. And this Vegito right here, this is like a basically a support unit. <laughs> that's why he's there, and that's why he's rainbowed. You know, I guess I could have taken him out, and I could have gone with Kefla. Maybe I should have gone with Kefla, because she's a bit more fun. Kefla, guys, when Kefla is rainbowed, she is a freaking tank. Like, she will do nine times out of ten. She will do three attacks. Two will be super attacks. It'll go super attack, regular attack, super attack. Almost every single time. And I didn't really know how great she was until I rainbowed her. Because when she doesn't have any of her hidden potential system filled out, she's still a great unit, but can't even hold a candle to how great she is once she's... Once her hit of potential is maxed out. Alright, let's go here. Alright, let's go here. And, I mean, it's not going to make it past LR Black. LR Black is going to destroy Herutagon. Alright, let's see if I can beat Herutagon in less than five minutes. <laughs> not this stage, I'm not worried about him. It's when he, when he goes AGL, then he starts dodging like a maniac. Yeah, I love this animation so much. One of my absolute favorite animations in the entire game is that smash. All right, this is where this is where he kept dodging on me, and it was getting to be super frustrating. All right, let's see. We're gonna hit you with our boy real quick. And then we're going to grab all these, and you'll probably dodge, because that's just how you roll. And we're going to save those greens for LR Goku Black when he comes up next turn. Ooh, did you dodge? Of course you did. Look at the health, guys. 573,000. Don't dodge. Don't dodge. Don't dodge. Yes! Thank you. And that was the problem, too, is he would dodge every single attack from Vegito, from Int Vegito, and then all the other units, he wouldn't dodge. So my most powerful card, he dodged every time. Look at that. Type advantage, and I still crit, crit for almost a million. I mean, type disadvantage, because that was tech. No, 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 type advantage, my bad. Type advantage, crit for almost a mil. All right, so let's uh, get our boys right here ready to go. Yes, we just barely got that ultra super attack. And then we lined up perfectly. We're going to get a, almost a full key bar here. Uh, and then we're not going to get a super attack off with Zamasu. But what we're going to do is we're going to get those purple orbs ready to go. All right, Harutagon. Let's see how many times you dodge. 5,901 damage. By the way, if you have a giant form team and you have Tapion as your, lead as your leader... It's a lot of fun to do um, the Harutagon event with a giant form team. You should definitely try it, if you haven't yet. What's going on? Alright, you better not dodge over here, bro. Alright, Joe, I'm gonna see... I'm gonna let you take the lead on this. Uh, we only need one... Ooh, nice. I'm glad I let you took the lead, because I'm about to scoop up all them orbs. Oh, and we already have a Dawkin. Joe, let's see Let's see if LR Vegito can, can kill Harutagon um, with the Dawkin. This is going to be hard to do with a mouse. <laughs> I hope it's a slow one. 
Nope. Ah! ah. <laughs> I couldn't. I couldn't do it with the mouse. <laughs> that was too difficult. My bad. My bad. I feel like such a noob missing that. I mean, how often do you get to go into docking mode? Like, I never get to go into docking mode unless I'm doing Super Battle Road or Boss Rush. Still, though, we wiped out half of his half of his life. That was pretty awesome. Now, if we can at least land this last attack, it should kill him. Oh. <laughs> You suck, Arutagon. I love when Black comes out and just refills your health. <laughs> He's like, hey, what's up, guys? I'm going to refill the health right now. Between, between LR Black refilling the health, right? And then as soon as your health drops below a certain point, you'll get the Vegito transformation, and then your health gets refilled again. And if you get a good rotation and you don't have both of your Vegito leads uh, transforming, you have another option to refill your health, when, to refill your HP when your health drops below a certain point. It's an unstoppable team, it really is. Don't dodge. <sighs> See, this is what I'm talking about. Harutagon is such a pain in the butt. You know what I should have done? I should have brought the Yarkarena with me to help bring down his energy so he wouldn't dodge as much. That's what I should have done. That's okay. I mean, this is really a Patora team test. So we're trying to do it without items. So that's not really a bad thing. We should be able to kill him this round. Ah, nice dodge, Joe, nice dodge. dodging non-stop oh of course the one attack that hits is a crappy counter attack yeah dodge dodge the type advantage good show Harugan. good show all right so we're gonna put Vegito here scoop up all these oranges and then yeah, there we go We'll save those greens for black, because he's coming up next. Come on, Vegito. Ah, oh, you bastard. You know, and I've actually had a t times where Rudigon barely dodges at all. Like, it's very random. He'll either dodge a lot or not that much. Thank you. Now we can finally move on with our lives. <laughs> oh yeah, Vegito, about to get wrecked. You're gonna get wrecked so quick. All right, we'll just take you out real quick with our Vegito. Another thing I like about this team too is you're always gonna launch super attacks. like. There has not been one round where I wasn't able to launch a super attack, and for the most part, I'm nine times out of ten launching ultra super attacks with my LR units. Nice. See you, bro. Nice. Vegito off the rotation. Eh, we'll do this way. Almost full key. Almost full key right there. <laughs> We've had basically full health the entire time. This is crazy. Yep, you're dead. And it was a type disadvantage. <laughs> and we still just wrecked. All right, here we go, Vegito Blue. You know, I haven't pulled um, a Vegito Blue since his banner was here. 
So mine has like, I think mine has only one dupe in it actually. Nice. Uh, we'll just get two. I wonder, maybe we'll kill him in one shot. We could. Let's type and manage right now. Oh, so close! Alright, moving on, final stage. Alright. Save those for the next rotation. See, look, another dodge. Like, I'm telling you, I have zero additional dodge on my units, and you've already seen him dodge twice. Such an awesome super attack right here. 11 damage. <laughs> I know some of you are watching this right now, and the Vegito Blue event, when it first came around, even I had a hard time with it, and... To see, to see how easy, easily Pator tanks every single event, you know, it's sickening. It really is. And I know some of you are going to ask why I use AGL uh, Vegito instead of the Fizz Vegito, and it's just because my Fizz Vegito only has two dupes in him. He's not rainbowed yet. So once he's rainbowed, I'll probably put him on the, on the rotation. But I actually, I like AGL Vegito's super attack and his counter. I think it looks cool. See ya! Moving on. All right, now we get to go after Goku Black. And we'll save those greens for our Goku Black, which we won't even really need, actually. We'll kill him right now. Alright, let's see, we're gonna do Vegito first, toss him right in, we'll launch a super attack. quick through this event. Look, this is the... I think this is the one time we weren't able to launch a super attack with one of our units. Wiped him right out. That was awesome. Alright, we'll let Goku Black go first. Why not? And we'll go right here. Oh, <laughs> this is gonna be pathetic. Alright, guys. Let me see if I can, I can do it this time with my mouse. This is gonna be terrible. Ah! 
Nice. I don't know why I missed that middle one, though. I definitely clicked the button. Ooh. 3.3 crit. Nice. Not as good as STR Vegito, though. All right, guys, look it. We're already on the final boss. Haven't even broken a sweat yet. I don't think we've gone below 570,000 health. Like, not even once. Not even close. And these two certainly are going to do it. <laughs> even with the type advantage right now, it's not even going to matter. Let's, uh, let's just go first like this. There we go. Actually, wasn't it better this way? Yeah, there we go. Sorry. Sorry about that. All right. Go. These guys are surviving way too long right now. Ah, uh, you know what I should have done? That was dumb. I should have just had the uh, STR Vegito go first. Just save those blues for the next rotation. I mean, those purples. If there's even a next rotation. Which there probably won't be, honestly. I think that was the most damage we've taken this whole this whole this whole match. We finally dropped below 500,000. That's okay. It's going to go right back up. Let's see. Yeah, Vegito Blue's better. And full. Yeah, full key meter. Get the health replenished with those orbs. And then I'm just going to save these red orbs because why not? It would have been nice if we got hit hot enough to see a Vegito transformation because we would definitely get one, but it's just not going to happen. Like, I'd have to actually try to lose somehow, maybe, like, just not get as many key orbs, but I don't even think it, I don't even think at this point it's possible to get a Vegito transformation. I'm just doing way too, so much damage. All right, you guys are toast. And this will probably be it right here, guys. So let's see. Type disadvantage, ultra attack. Oh, didn't really do that much damage. But another dodge. Like I said, he dodges all the time. Now we have type advantage. Let's see the difference. Ooh, and he's dead. <laughs> so pretty clear difference. He died. <laughs> Instantly. Oh, here we go, Gogeta. I gotta start using my fusion team more. I haven't given my fusion... Gogeta's one of my favorite characters. I haven't given my fusion team any love whatsoever. Wow, this is the worst rotation I've had yet. But I'm not gonna use an item, though, because I said no items. That was actually a really terrible uh, rotation drop with those orbs. Still taking barely 100 damage. Ooh, this <laughs> might take a little more damage right now. <laughs> oh, wow, it looks so cool. 81,000. Still not as much. I think we got, 
I think we got hit once for a hundred thousand. Unless it was a ten thousand and I read it wrong. So we definitely want to launch a super attack with our STR Vegito Blue. So what we're going to do is drop this orb down, pick up all these reds, and that should finish them off. I'll just pick these greens up for some health real quick. Alright, let's see. Should be able to finish him off. We have type advantage. We got full key bar, 24. Well, more than 24. Yeah, definitely. Took him right out. It would have been nice to see that against uh, Gogeta with full health to see how much damage he would do. I don't think it would kill him, but I think it would get at least, you know, three quarters of his life down. Let's see what our final time is. I'm wondering if I beat my last time. Oh! <laughs> We'll never know! <laughs> Schedule maintenance! <laughs> oh my god, that is just freaking terrible! I cannot believe this happened to us! <laughs> well, actually, you know what? I'll um, I'll post the, the image right now, and it'll just show as I'm talking. I'll edit the video, obviously, but um, thank you so much for tuning in. I'm hoping that I beat my previous time, but as you can see, the Patora team... It just absolutely destroys every single event. I mean, boss rush is supposed to be kind of difficult. And these teams now, between Patora and Fusion, they're unstoppable. They're unstoppable teams. So definitely try to get that hidden potential filled out for your Patora characters. And if you need any help team building, make sure you go down to the pinned comment below and you join my docking forums. They're absolutely free to use. And the community and I will help you build teams so you can conquer any event in docking battle. And as always, guys, more good stuff coming soon. See ya.